Nick's arc is over. It was a bumpy road with one huge pot in the road. But in this final close of the Sardonyx arc, yes, I'm calling it an arc with the exception of of historical friction. So, what did I think? But I think this was awesome! Okay, so, Friday's episode to close it out of Steam Bomb 3 was pretty much appeared on as the main antagonist for the episode. And we get to see Sardonyx again. You know what? I That proves a theory I had that we'll see each of the the fusions once as a major appearance and then one quick appearance. So, how did this episode go? Pretty good. We, um, so they were tracking Peridot and now they can track her through warps. Um, and at the so basically while they're there, Garnet and Pearl still have their blowout, which is a, a major complaint I've had with the arc. They've drawn this out a little too long. I but I kind of understand it, so I don't call it a flaw, but it's just a personal preference. Anyway, so as they go in, so they attempt to track down Peridot and fail because of Pearl and Garnet's antics. Um, so. And as time, and so once they get back to the base, Peridot warps again, and they track her again. Peridot actually proves that she is the Spock out of the three, and a very logical person and hilarious. Um, yes, she's a very funny villain. Um, by in her escape, she completely outwits the gems, which is something not may have been able to do because of the fight. And so after that, we spend the episode with Pearl and Garnet um, learning to work together. Long story short, that conflict's done, and they confront Peridot. Now, Amethyst has little to do in this episode, and Steven is, definitely has a role, but isn't as big as Garnet and Pearl, I think. So as we, so once we get there, it's just Peridot and the ship. And what they do is an epic battle. Steven actually is the leader in bringing her down. However, she cuts off her foot, pretty much, in the gem way, and goes. Also, this episode proves that Pearl's a species. Yes, it does. <laughs> Pearl said, I'm just a Pearl. So, coincidence? I think not. Um... So yeah, and Peridot's now missing a foot. Yep, they're eventually going to catch her, I believe. So yeah, so tell me what you thought of this episode. Peridot, I think, could easily be defeated and reform and get her foot back, but I liked it. No, I didn't just like it. I hated it. No, I'm just joking. I loved it. Thank you for watching my Steven Universe vlog of friendship.